Greetings, everyone. My name is Ayman Terabishi. I am the president and CEO of the International Council for Small Business. Uh, I am located in Washington, DC. So I send you my greetings from Washington, DC. I am delighted to see you all here from the 10 plus countries that are on their session this morning um, or this evening or this afternoon. It depends on where you are. Um, I am um, delighted to be representing ICSB. We have a couple of announcements to make here and there's a lot of couple of exciting things that we're planning to do here. So as we go along, all right, at the end, I promised all of you that are attending live is that at the end of the session, right, you will get a, a, a link right away in this chat here. And for all those that are here, we'll get it and you'll get a $100 scholarship to the ICSB World Congress. And I'll explain that in a little bit here. But um, before we get into the Congress, before we get into everything here, I wanted to ask all of you a question and maybe you can write it in the chat section here. Are you an educator? Are you a researcher? Or are you working with a small business or supporting small businesses and medium businesses? Which one of the three are you? Are you an educator? Are you a researcher? Or are you supporting one of those small businesses as a practitioner? What are you? So we got an educator here, professor and researcher. We got an educator here, a researcher. The three of them, educator and practitioner, support small businesses, educators and researchers here. This is just amazing here. And all of the above, supporting SMEs, professor and CFO, right? So this is just, Amazing here. So we see, we, we hit on all three, right? So this is just fantastic. Um, I wanna spend some time today, not a lot, is to just give you a little background of ICSB. So when you are talking to your colleagues, when you are talking to your organization, your university, your partners, and you say, hey, I was on a webinar with ICSB, or I was, um, when I'm planning to potentially go to a Congress, in Paris in, in the summer, or I am thinking of maybe go joining virtually or online this Congress here, they're gonna ask you this question. They're gonna say to you, what is ICSB, right? So this is my way of explaining to you in simple terms what ICSB is. And then you, we can get into the Congress and the details, but it's, on, it's good to know what ICSB is all about. So let me share my screen real quick. I hope we, this was all will work well. Here, um, let me just quickly go to um, the PowerPoint. One second, let me just pull up the PowerPoint. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to Zoom and I'll share my screen here. Um, let me just close this and then I'll go here again to share screen. Oh, here it is, I found it. Okay, and do you, do you all, I hope you all see my slides, right? Sky, you see my slides? Yep. Wonderful. So uh, this is, I'm doing this presentation in one hour with my colleague from Mexico, Dr. Ricardo Alvarez. So I was working on this presentation this morning and I said, why not show them what ICSB is? Because that's what we do a lot of times. We share with people what we do so people understand us. So ICSB stands for the International Council for Small Business, a really nice name. But what does it mean? Where does it come from? How does it work? So um, we are established, we were established in 1955. So we are very proud to say that we are the oldest, and I'll tell you in a little bit, we are the largest nonprofit organization in the world supporting micro and small and medium enterprises and entrepreneurs. This is actually a Cadillac that was produced in 1955. So you can say, oh, you're old. I say, we're not old. We're vintage, right? I like this word better. We are vintage here, like this car. But with, with us, with ICSB, we have a long history. And the reason that we were created, one of the main reasons that we were created here is was we started seeing in 1953, when the United States Small Business Administration was created, the administrator worked with one of our faculty and told him, by the way, I have this new administration, now it's created in the United States called SBA, and we need help from you, the academia, from you, the researchers, help us train entrepreneurs, help us train managers, help us train 
small businesses. And the professor said, I would love to help you. Why don't we put an organization together to form it? And we call it the National Association of Small Business and Entrepreneurship back then. And then we changed our name. So we were formed right with the idea in 1950s to help support small businesses, micro businesses, and entrepreneurs. Right? So ICSB was founded in 1955. Right? We are the first international membership organization to promote the growth and development of small businesses and entrepreneurship worldwide. That's who we are. So we are membership based. So every one of you today that is a member of ICSB that, that pays dues to ICSB, you are actually ICSB. Right? And we are very thankful and grateful to have you be part of the ICSB family worldwide. Right? So what is ICSB? In two words, we are a knowledge network. I just asked two minutes ago, what are you? What do you do? You said, I'm an educator. You, I'm a researcher. I help support small businesses. I'm a practitioner. I'm all three. I call this knowledge. And I call all of you from all the 10 countries or 12 countries now or 15 countries that we're in, that we are part of a global network. And that's how ICSB brings us all together. We are non-government focused. We are non-organizational focused. Our strength is our independence with all our members. So that's something that I'm very proud of as president and CEO. And I see people from around the world, from Uganda, from India, from Italy saying, I look at them and I meet them. I'm saying, you are ICSB. You just don't know how powerful you are as part of a global network, right? As I mentioned, um, we, uh, just a couple of years ago, I was saying that we are in 90 countries. But believe it or not, with the technological revolution that has happened and with COVID and with everything else, our latest statistics, now we are in 190 countries. So ICSB is known in 190 countries worldwide. It's an incredible, an incredible number for us to be represented there. So somebody's subscribing to us, somebody's watching our YouTube video, someone is, is, comes to our website. That's how our, our, our handprint and our footprint are around the world. So that's kind of just who we are and we're very proud of this, right? How does ICSB work? Well, one of the things that makes us unique as ICSB is because we are independent, because we are composed of all of you, it's because we are are uniform and the voice is saying that nobody influences us except knowledge and research and education and practice. And we've been around for such a long time and we have made such great contributions is that major organizations have started to work with us and engage with us in creation of knowledge, of dissemination of knowledge and information. So therefore we sit in the middle I believe as the only unique nonprofit organization in the world to engage with all these institutions, United Nations, OECD, the World Bank, Inter-American Development Bank, the ILO, the IFC. We are the small, you know, we are the small kids in the, in the block here, but we have a powerful voice because we are independent. So the more you share knowledge with us, the stronger we are. So that's kind of how we position ourselves here, right? I just want to share some pictures with you because I think pictures say a thousand words here. This is some of our events that we have done worldwide, right? From UAE, from the United Nations, from, from an event in New York. This is who we are as ICSB. And I want to show you this just to give you a glimpse of how our reach around the world. And I have mentioned earlier that I am located in Washington, D.C., the international office where Sky and a lot of um, my team work here. We are located in the School of Business, right? In George Washington University in Washington, DC. We're about three blocks away from the White House. So we basically work and connect with around the world from this building and from actually online as well here. But if you're ever in Washington, DC, you can always come visit ICSB. There's always an office. There's always a home for you to come stop, say hi to us, see the university and just talk to us. We welcome you all the time. And hopefully soon, once we get back to, to kind of traveling and being able to connect with everybody, right? I want to mention a little bit ICSB's work and the, and the focus that we're moving on here. I think a lot of you heard of the SDGs, right? So in 2015, when the MDGs were ending, the Millennium Development Goals were ending, we moved to the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. 
And ICSB has been on this wave as we move towards the SDGs. We are the organization that asked the United Nations to come and focus on MSMEs. When they were using them as, as a side note here, we stood up and said, United Nations, you're not focusing enough on the small businesses. You are not focusing enough on micro businesses here. And we made such a big, big deal of it because we have the voice, because we are independent and the United Nations paid attention to us. This is back then Secretary General Ban Ki-moon opening the ICSB World Congress at the United Nations, recognizing our work on MSMEs. And with that, what we have done then is we asked the United Nations, right? With a resolution, working with our, our partners, Ambassador Garcia Moritan, Guido from, the, from Argentina, to put together a proposal uh, to the United Nations to create an international name day dedicated to MSMEs, right? So like Mother's Day, like, I'm sorry, like Women's Day, like Earth Day, the United Nations now recognizes Micro Small Medium Enterprises Day on June 27. I remember because I wrote part of the resolution, right? And we said, this is important. And therefore every year, we celebrate MSME Day on June 27, and we want to thank Argentina for, for being our partner with this. So they have been tremendous with us on this. So this is what ICSB is known for today, is the originators of MSME Day globally. And we take a lot of pride, and I personally take a lot of pride because the idea was from the beginning, it's incredible to accomplish here, right? So what do we have? Based on MSME Day, we have started co collecting, coalescing, bringing together all the voices from around the world. And every year we launch something called the ICSB Annual Global Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Report, MSME Report. It comes out every June 27, right? And, and now we, collect, we, started, we started collecting from day one, this is our third year, we started collecting state-of-the-art reports from the IFC, from the World Bank, from OECD, from UNCTAD, everybody's submitting to us. Why? Because they know we're gonna put everybody together as this platform, as this global platform. So we have this report that comes out every June 27. It is available on the UN website on MSME Day, and it is also available on our website. So, and it's free to download because this is global knowledge that we need to share. We also have to one of, one of the largest academic journals in the world, JSBM, right? And this has been around since the beginning. So we were the first journal, academic journal for all those researchers there. This is, you should know JSBM, you should probably have published in JSBM here. And so this is the oldest and largest circulated journal around the world with our partners, fantastic partners, Taylor and Francis here. So we wanna thank Taylor and Francis for their wonderful work here. And, um, and JSBM now is moving under the leadership of Eric and Katia Passerini, Eric Liguiri and Katia Passerini, managing editors of JSBM. They are doing incredible work. And Eric has just been phenomenal, right? Putting together our work plan and our operational plan to moving our JSBM into, into beyond, into another stratosphere here. Um, if you're interested, let us know. And we are applying for the FT50. So this is going to be fantastic. If you want to support us, please send me an email. And, and Sky, if you want to put on my email there, please let me know and we can show you how you can help us here. Or if you want to engage with the journal here. So just, it's an incredible journal. We, we're getting a lot of submissions here. So be ready here. And, and I want to again thank Katya and Eric for this. And the other journal, our brand new journal that I'm really excited about, right, is called GISP, the Journal of the International Council for Small Business, right? And under the, and Taylor, uh, the editor-in-chief, um, Jeff Alves here, and this journal is innovative. It is creative. It brings both policy and practice into the topics of what we were talking about, the SDGs, and into policy. Right, it's a quick journal, it's a fast journal, it's a nimble journal, right? We're looking for a lot of creative ideas. Tomorrow we have a pitch GISP session. So if you have an idea for research, you can talk to the editors live. I'm telling you, we're creative here. So just to let you know. So this is pitch GISP here. So maybe Sky, if you add the link for that as well. So 
this is the big news. So I'm gonna, I don't have any music soundtrack here, but this is the big news. We are going to Paris in ICSB 2021, right? So I am now very proud and honored because we have worked tremendously hard um, on, 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 um, on, this, on this Congress here. So I'm gonna stop sharing here and, um, and do a couple of things here. First, I'm gonna do just a couple of things. One is I am gonna promote Valeria to panelists. So Valeria, you're moving to panelists now. And um, here, that's great. And then let me see, Sky, if you see Adnan on the list, um, uh, please promote him to panelists as well. Uh, but let me share the, the World Congress website now because it's brand new and then the website is very simple, right? Um, yep, Adnan is there. So Sky, if you can move uh, Adnan as well to the panelist, um, ICSB2021.com. And here is the website. And here, hi Ngozi, I see you as well. So let me, first of all, um, um, uh, Adnan, if you wanna uh, show your screen and just say welcome to everybody so people see you. And then Valeria and you in a minute, if you have that. Or maybe he's driving. Hi everyone, um, there is a kind of trouble. I can't activate my web camera. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. I, we can, let me make you co-host, hold on. Ah, yeah. Hello okay. everyone. Good. Thank you, Ayman, very much for this. Uh, no, Adnan, 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 you can't talk in English, in French. We're going ah, in to Paris. French? Yeah, in ah, French. Okay. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Paris 2021. Uh, on espère que vous serez tous parmi nous. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so we need French lessons, but we will plan this as part of the Congress. Okay, so just to let you know. Thank you, Adnan, for joining us here. I know you're busy with the end of the semester, but that's great. Um, let me, okay, so let me now show the website here that we have been working very hard here. So let me go here and show the website. Let me just quickly, oops, one second guys. I know, I know how to do it. Here we go. Okay. And I'm gonna share the screen here, okay. Okay, and uh, Sky, you all see the website, right? We all see it? Yep. Okay, so first of all, before I get into the website, before I get into the Congress site and all this stuff here, I really wanna thank the incredible team behind this. This has been now in the works for over four months, all right? So I, I wanna thank Hannah Gilroy. I wanna thank Sky. I wanna thank Kyle, I wanna thank Will, I want to thank um, Valeria that I'll introduce in a little a minute here, right? I want to thank Collins. I want to thank uh, everybody that I've been emailing and, and communicating with and telling them to look at the site, to give me feedback here. Uh, so I just want to thank you all for your tremendous work. Your work is just, it, it's a state of the art and it's just absolutely fantastic. And I, I'm really, really personally uh, thankful for your hard, hard work on this. Um, let me explain to you now the World Congress. The World Congress is gonna be from July 12 to 16. So if you plan to come, plan the whole week, right? Come from a Saturday and stay longer. It's Paris, right? Nobody comes to Paris for two days. Okay, it will become a crime and you should be arrested if you come for two days, okay? So come for a whole week. The way we thought about the Congress right from the beginning was that it's Paris, they're gonna be there for a while. Nobody should be leaving so fast. We need to build a Congress that has never been seen before. A Congress that's different. A Congress that moves us forward, not as staying as the status quo. And a Congress that brings together many voices, many, many ideas, many, many people from around the world. So what the challenges that we had from the beginning, how do we create a new Congress for ICSV that captures the city, that captures the energy, that captures the diversity of the people, and at the same time has a value proposition to everybody. Okay, that was the challenge. And that was a summer challenge that we had all summer long working for it. And understandably the elephant in the room, which was COVID-19. Are we gonna have the Congress or are we not gonna have the Congress? Are we gonna do it in person or only online? So. This is a culmination of all the hard work and thought leadership that came from the ICSB board, that came from our partners, 
that came from everybody that we asked. We were asking everybody. The decision is simple, right? We are gonna have both. We are gonna have an in-person World Congress in Paris, in Paris, July 12 to the 16th. So if by then we are optimistic, we are extremely optimistic by then that things will be much, much better, that people that can travel will travel, the people that want to come will come, right? And so we are going to hold to that and we are going to welcome them all and we're going to take all the precautions possible to make sure that that happens, right? So we are planning this as we speak. So that's one commitment that we have is that we are going, okay? So the other commitment that we are making here, if you can't come for whatever reason it is, you know, health, budget, time, whatever it is, we will create an online experience like never experienced before, okay? And that's our challenge as we move forward and we have time to build it here. So we're gonna do dual. So we, what we call this Congress is a hybrid. It's both in-person and online and we are excited about this, okay? So now you understand right from the beginning, some decisions need to be made from you all I'm planning to come, but I might switch at the end or I'm just gonna do online from the beginning, okay? Whatever it is, you're very welcome, right? So how does it work? We basically decided to have different tracks for everybody here. As you plug in and plug out, depending on your interest and depending on what you like to do here. So let me start with, with, with the classic here. Um, explanation here, and then we'll go for the rest here. First of all, right simple here, you can click on the about section, right, and get all the updates that we have on the ICSB website, on the uh, World Congress. So you can see what ICSB does. I call this the ICSB um, universe of all the activities that we have. So you get to learn what we're planning to do, right? So this is kind of all the things that are going to be happening at ICSB World Congress in Paris. Right from certificates, from from K hubs, from 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 voices, from resiliency diploma. Everything that we do is going to be revolving at the ICSB World Congress, right? And this graphic, this beautiful graphic, was designed by Laura, our designer. So I want to thank her, right? And this is basically our World Congress. What's new this year? You can learn more about what we're planning to do here this year for the Congress, and this is the big one. This is what we will start with here, and I'll explain it to you in a little bit here. I wanna ask a question, and I'm just gonna hesitate here a little bit and see the chat here. How many of you know at least 10 upcoming, very smart, very agile, right? Small and medium companies, okay? It can be startups, it can be still, they, start, they started building or they're, they're, they're growing but you know them and, and you're excited about it. how many of you know 10 of them, right? Let's see the chat. Let me see if I can see the chat, right? Right? Good, excellent. So you know them. So imagine those, imagine that you tell those companies, right? What if, what if you can come, right, either in person, as I say to you, or um, virtually, come and present your company, right, to the world, not just in your country, not just in Riyadh, not just in Cairo, not just in, in, in Arlington, Virginia, but to the world. And the world will pay attention to you. The world will recognize you. ICSB will recognize you for your novel idea, for your smart business, for your, for, for, your, for your reach in helping solve a world problem. So we created something called the ICSB Marketplace, right? And let me explain to you the Marketplace here and then I'll bring uh, Valeria in. So the Marketplace, if you click on the link here, this Marketplace allows you, right, to decide, right, if you are an entrepreneur and, or a small business, right? If you are an investor or venture capitalist, or if you are a policymaker or an influencer or university and NGO, you can all come to the marketplace, right? To, to do three things, 
right? To either design your business better, okay? To build your networks, to our networks, to people, to, to our training, to our certificates, right? Or to grow your business, looking for seed funding, looking for investors, looking for sweat equity partners, right? So you can come to the marketplace, to the ICSB marketplace, you small companies, or you entrepreneurs, or you students in universities that are starting, right? You can come to the marketplace and showcase your work, right? And so that's our goal. That was one of our main goals from the beginning, right? Is saying, it's not just about researchers and educators now, we're gonna bring actual businesses, actual small businesses. So what we have done, is with this goal, with this aspiration, we went out and, co and connect, contacted Proceder. And Proceder has a platform. They have the engine. They have been doing it for quite some time. The entrepreneur, the founder, Ken, um, Ken is amazing, right? He spun out many companies here. So we worked with him throughout the whole summer building this platform here. So I wanna show you now, so design, build and grow will give you an explanation on every stage of how you can come and connect to ICSB in the marketplace, right? And if you know of companies, if you know of student companies that are interested in this, you can apply right away, right? And you can join us in the marketplace. So now you say, well, that's great, but where is this kind of marketplace gonna be? Because it has to be actually in a location. You're right, it is in a location. It's in two locations. The first location is in person, if you come to the largest incubator in Europe, right? We actually went there and said to them, can we take some of your space over the summer to bring these small businesses, to bring these micro businesses, to bring these entrepreneurs? And we are going to station F, station F. And this is the incredible work of Adnan, right? So all these marketplaces, all these companies are gonna come to station F and showcase their work. Imagine the bazaar, imagine the traditional market. They're gonna be there talking to people, showing their products, showing their services and saying, let's engage. On the side of this, we will have training. We will have uh, workshop sessions to engage with them. And with those are the people that wanna engage with them, a literally an actual marketplace, okay? So let me, show, now how do you do this? Very simple, right? We have a form that you can sign up right now. So you can just come up here all the way to the top, right? And you can say, apply, right? The, do you see the next page or are, am I on the same page, Sky? I'm, I, do you see the form? We're good? What was that? Do you, do you see the form? Yes, yeah. Raymond, you can see it. Okay, you can wonderful. See it, Raymond. thank you. So I want to, now here's the form. It's very simple. You can come in here, read about the different goals of the company, what you want to do, how you can join, and then you get started. So Valeria, maybe if you can um, showcase yourself and introduce yourself and talk about Proceder and the platform. Yes, thanks, Simon. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you to the ICSB community. I am Valeria. I am from the Proceder team. And uh, as Simon was explaining before, Proceder is the engine that runs behind the ICSB marketplace. We were super happy to work together during the summer. And mainly what Proceder is, we are a, an impact investing platform to source, manage, and report on impact strategies. And uh, our main mission is to facilitate deal flow discovery and syndication between different organizations. We work with organizations as university, accelerators, large corporations, and uh, Proceder serves as a one source of truth for everything, all your documents, your contacts, your impact metrics and management. Valeria, wonderful. She's in Argentina, in beautiful Argentina with nice weather here. So lucky hair here. So here's the, here's the application form for everybody. So when you see it, you understand it. We basically ask you so for some basic information, right? Some contact information. And then we ask you a simple question. Are you, a des are you designing your company from the beginning, early entrepreneurs, right? Are you, are, this is your first step, you have an idea, you know what you're gonna do, but you're really not sure, then it's the design stage, okay? Let's say you do have a company and you started it and you're now 
in the process of bringing in new customers, trying to sell your first product, trying to land your, your two other clients, right? And you're trying to build it more, right? Then you're in the build stage, okay? And then let's say you have a company, you have been in business for a while, you are making some money, but you're looking to scale up. We call this the growth stage. Every place has a home, right? So you can decide from the beginning, I am either design, build, or grow, or I'm in between both. We'll, we'll figure it out with you. Once you decide this, then we ask you some questions, right? You know, what's your social media? Because now we're gonna to start to showcase you to the world, right? Right. Tell us some a little bit about your company basics. One, what are one of the SDGs are you are you trying to solve here? Right. You can say, well, I am doing, you know, um, education. I'm doing health. Whatever it is, it's good because some impact investors, somebody might be looking at your company saying you're different. You're not only making money, but at the same time, you're helping a child education here. Right. So we tag you with the SDGs. Then we ask you a little bit about your company. We ask you a little bit about what you need help from, right? So we can get you the right training. We get you the right workshops to go with. And then you we ask you a little bit about how are you going to plan to come and what areas are you an expert on and what areas you need help in and what kind of funding do you want, okay? And if you are a member of ICSB, and then you enter the, all your information. So all of this is captured. now. This company in, 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 in pick a country, um, in, in, in Munich, Germany, that would only work in the ecosystem of Munich, Germany, just got pinged by ICSB. Now they're saying, hey, we might be going to Paris or a company in, in Istanbul, Turkey, or a company in, in I say, Aswan, as well, I was just there recently saying, if, if we have something special, why can't the world know about it? Right? And they fill out this form, and now it comes to ICSB. And using what we call Powered by Proceder, we have a team that will review these applications, and if they are legitimate, if we see potential in them, if we see that they are serious about what they're doing here, is we get to invite them to ICSB in Paris. And they will, they will come to Paris, and when they come to Paris, this is what's incredible here. Now, from a company that has just been you know, on the sidelines, trying to, 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 to compete with companies within the region. Now they come to a global marketplace and you get listed on our ICSB marketplace website. Okay, so imagine your company, and we, these are examples here. Imagine your company is listed in the ICSB marketplace. So now you have a global identity. You are known to ICSB. You are known to the ICSB global com a global community in 190 countries, right? And people can click on you, right? And get to know more about you, right? Who you are, right? Where are you? What's your website? What's your, who, who are you presenting, right? And what stage are you in the company, right? And what are you looking for, right? And you can share this with other partners, with other clients, with other sponsors saying, listen, you might not think I'm serious here, but ICSB recognizes me, right? They know I'm legitimate. So let's have a conversation. And this is a great, great potential for you. So saying this, let me quickly see the chat here. How many of you are interested in, in, in sending teams of people to look at this? How many of you will be interested in something like this? That's just fantastic, okay? So the information is there for, for you all on this one here. And then we'll take questions um, at the end, everybody here. So just so you see here. So start thinking about these companies, right? Linda, and, you know, everybody start thinking about these companies and start referring them to the ICSB marketplace. This is going to grow. We believe this is going to be a global phenomenon here because we're going to bring the whole world to ICSB. It's in our DNA. Okay. Now, saying there's... Now we go to switching from the marketplace and I wanna thank Proceder again for this. Now for all the researchers, right? We have some breaking news, right? And, and, and we are delighted to have this here. So first of all, we are, are, are very proud to announce that um, Dr. Ker um, Dr. Oh, let me switch back, Dr. Karen Beck Dudley, I, I jumped in here, but it'll come back in a minute, right? 
um, right? Uh, the president and CEO of the uh, AACSB will be one of our featured keynote speakers in Paris, right? So she, um, she tried to come last year, but she's definitely coming this year to Paris. So for all of you universities, professors here, AACSB is well known. It's one of those uh, accreditation bodies, global accreditation bodies here. And she's gonna come and talk about the new standards that is, has changed and how we look at education and research around the world. So she is, she's gonna be joining us here on this. So we are just delighted to have Karen Beck Dudley join us here. The other um, keynote speaker here is, he is in the top 1% of the world in terms of research. Output research topics, and uh, Dr. Herman Aguinas will be coming here to talk about impactful research. What does it mean? How to get published and the research that he's doing here, fantastic. Uh, and we're working with him and doing some workshop sessions for you doctoral students, right? And for you young and up and coming researchers here and anybody that's interested in research, he, he's donating his time to ICSB and we are just delighted to have him. And he's a wonderful, wonderful human being and, and a really great colleague here. So, and we're gonna have more featured keynote speakers. We're bringing the world to you. I know Adnan and our partners in Paris and IPAG and ESCA, and they're lining up some fantastic speakers as well. So this is a little bit about our speakers here. Now, saying this, um, the call for papers, right? Um, the call for papers is, is the usual ICSB best practice, right? Next steps is you, get, you read the guidelines and deadlines of when is the call for paper. These are the helpful insights. You can download the call and you can submit to our system here. So everything is here, right? On how to submit and everything. So uh, Congress submissions due in 94 days. So you have some time here. And what's unique about the submission here is we don't want long papers. We don't want 20 page papers, 17 page papers. We're looking for extended abstracts and extended abstracts are usually five, six pages maximum, excluding appendices at the end here. And you say, why, why so short, right? Because now most academic journals, if you submit to a Congress or a conference and you try to submit to a journal, they will reject it. They're saying it's duplicate, but we have an agreement and a lot the, now most conferences have an agreement is extended abstracts are okay. So you can actually submit to us an abstract and also submit it to a paper here. So it's a win-win for both here. But as I mentioned to you earlier, we have two wonderful academic journals here, JSBM and GISP. Um, we are gonna be looking at these papers, at these extended abstracts, and we're gonna be looking at them very carefully and we're gonna pick the best and we're gonna try to fast track them into submission to our journals. So you might end up ha hitting two birds with one stone, submitting to the Congress and getting a potentially a paper out of our our, uh, our journals here. So uh, Jeff Alves and Katya and Eric are on top of this and they'll be doing sessions with our, with our associate editors in Paris, in person or in live again, talking about how to submit to the journals, what are the best practices here. So this is clear cut. This is wonderful here. The, the call for papers is here. Everything is planned here wonderfully here. So you can click on each one and it can tell you the next steps. Right, so if you go here, it tells you the topics. Now the topics, we have so many topics to pick from here, but I wanna mention not only just the topics, I wanna mention a couple of things. The, the, the type of papers that we're looking for from competitive papers, workshops, teaching cases, experiences, and doctoral consortium, right? So you, you have a, a plethora of them here. And if you look at our topics here, these topics, cover a lot of things that ICSB has been covering, arts and entrepreneurship, you know, digital entrepreneurship, family business, frugal innovation, right? Green entrepreneurship here, right? So these papers are just absolutely fantastic. I urge you to submit. I urge you to tell your colleagues to submit. Now, here's how it works. And, and, and the timing is there. You come on the 10th or 11th in Paris, right? The ICSB marketplace, right? Is that, um, is that Monday, Tuesday, okay? So I'm just, no date, so you understand it, just kind of visually. Monday and Tuesday, we're at the marketplace with these small businesses and these entrepreneurs. 
So you can plug in anytime during the day to see what's going on, maybe to get some training, to look at some workshops. You're at the marketplace in the largest incubator in the world, all right? Tuesday evening is basically the opening reception for us, and we're going to have a nice opening reception. Wednesday is Bastille Day. So Wednesday is a day off for everybody. We get to celebrate in France into Independence Day like all the French there, and we're going to have a great time in Paris. And we, we deserve it. To be honest with you, we deserve this day, everybody together. Thursday and Friday, this is where the exciting news comes in. Thursday and Friday, which we call policy and academic days, we're going to be at the OECD, right? And at the IPAC School of Business as well. We're going to do two days of intensive paper presentations, research, policy presentations, all in these two days. So as, you, as I mentioned to you early, we plug in and we plug out. For the whole week, there are activities happening. So if you're a researcher saying, I'll come on a Tuesday, but I'll do the policy days and I'll do the research days on Thursday and Friday, right? And I'll do some sessions on Saturday. Possible. The way it works is you plug in and you plug out, and plug in and plug out as, as you want to, right? So that's kind of how it works with this. And then if you go here, guidelines and deadlines, here is all listed here, so you can go to this beautiful website. It gives you all the information and the dates of how it works. So I urge you to submit. I urge you to submit multiple times because we think we're going to get a lot of papers and workshops coming in. And, and I want to focus on, on all of you here saying, well, I don't have an academic paper. Practitioners work. You know, case studies work. You know, and, you know teaching notes work, right? Life experiences work. Right? The world is changing and we wanna hear from everybody here. So I wanna encourage you to be creative, to be innovative, because that's what we're looking for here. Right? So that's a little bit about the, the papers here. And then there's the download for call and everything here. So saying this, there's two more parts here. And I mentioned this to you because some of you say, well, good, I'm gonna to come to the marketplace and I'm gonna do this, right? And, but I might wanna engage in other ways. What other ways can you do? We have, this is now, I think, our sixth year of doing it, or um, I think it's the sixth year doing it here. We have something called the ICSB Academy, right? And these are for the youth, right? And, and this is a week-long program of, 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 of the youth of ICSB, right? And we, the, the age group is between 16 to 30, 35. We segment it. We have a lot of different activities here, right? And we, we bring them together as a cohort. And we do a whole week long of activities, right, in Paris. So we take them to the marketplace. We take them to meet companies. We get to meet, they get to meet um, speakers. They get to meet mentor, work with some mentors. They get to do assignments in Paris. They get to do a scavenger hunt. They get to experience uh, the, the Paris and ICSB in an organized manner, right? And, and we bring them in cohorts. They work together. We usually have between 20 or 30 countries represented in these academies. So it's a great experience, right? For you to, to bring young people to this conference. So it's not just one type of group, it's also the youth are here. The youth is the future type of thing. So if you are interested in this, you can click on here and say how you like to join us, right? Do you wanna bring in some students? Do you wanna be a speaker? Do you want to be a mentor? Do you want to be a sponsor, right? There's many ways of doing it. We wanna thank ESCA. And our partner, our co-host, they're gonna, they're, they have donated their campus. They have donated everything around it. So the students get an actual experience of being on campus, right? Working with other students in classrooms and then getting on the Metro, getting on the buses and off they go to visiting clients and stuff. It was incredible last year when we did it in 2019, when we did it in Egypt, this is actually the picture of the Academy in Egypt. We took them to the pyramids. We took them to the largest incubators in Egypt. We, we, we took them everywhere. So they just had an amazing experience and you can just see how happy they are. I wanna thank personally Maria Fernanda and as well, she, is one, she has one of, one of the, I call her the godmother of the ICSB Academy. She's been with us from the beginning. When we put it together here. So she's, she's the one that puts it all together, holds it up to that. But we have Ines Gabaret from ESCA that she's gonna be leading this. And we have Hartmut from Germany as well. So we have a great community of people coming here to help us. So if you're interested, I urge you right away 
to after this to click on this and just tell us how you want to be engaged. So that's the academy. Okay, then this is new and this is very dear to my heart and this is something I want to spend some time on here, right? Is we have a new program called Womenpreneurs or we call it WE. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have a daughter? Right or know of a young woman or an upcoming um, um, woman a researcher educator right that just just that you know saying hey you know I'm a I'm a daddy's girl type of thing how many of you have this right what we have done and this is incredible what we have done and we know that this is something that is must be done is we are creating a week long program for womenpreneurs in Paris. Right. So for all of you that are interested in this, that want to engage in this, we're going to create a program for womenpreneurs in Paris right, that covers many topics. OK, from from how to, to research, how to publish, how to start a business, uh, how to get into the policy field, how, how to be a leader, uh, effective leader, how to manage, how to deal with, with, you know, gender issues, you know, the glass ceiling, access to finance all the topics are on the table, right? And how to brand yourself, you know, all, all these topics and we're, we're putting together, is just an absolutely fantastic program. And we're gonna call it the Womenpreneurs. And it'll be in Paris for a whole week here. And I believe this is gonna be a sold out event. I think this is gonna be oversubscribed here because a lot of people are gonna say, I wanna be part of this. How do I get engaged? Or Hey, uh, Ayman, I'm coming, but I'm bringing my two daughters for a week because I'm going to come and present, but my daughters need to come to this and I want a great program for them. I want to have dinner with them at night. I want to hear about their whole day, what's happening here, right? Or saying, you know what? I'm going to bring two or three people here, but I want to speak at this event, right? So this is really what's going to happen here with these women entrepreneurs. Um, and, and you can, yes, you can participate as a PhD student, we are gonna just explode it here. So this is gonna be big guys and, and it's gonna get a lot of interest here. So I'm telling you early on, jump in while you can, okay? So, because we're gonna put these plans together. We have a fantastic team in Paris. We have a fantastic team in Washington. I already have lined up um, three or four people. Linda that's here, uh, Achilano is here. She's putting it together. We have some, some fantastic people as well um, coming here. So. So just get ready, okay? I'm just letting you get ready here. And, and, and I can just, one thing only is, I know what will happen at the end. The women for news are gonna take over ICSP. They're gonna just run the show and we're gonna just, they're gonna tell us how it's gonna be run. So I see the future coming here. So I'm just letting you know, this is coming here. So get ready here. So I look forward to having you all here, part of the program and get it organized here. So this is the women for news. Then as we put all this together, right? Um, everything costs money, money and time and talent, right? So I believe, and to be very honest and frank with you here, I think ICSB, right? We have invested a lot of the time needed to put this wonderful website here. Uh, poor, poor everybody that's been working with me here. Emails, WhatsApps at midnight at two o'clock in the morning, messages flying since six o'clock in the morning here. So I cannot say that nobody has put the time. Everybody has put more time than ever. You know, and Hannah, Valeria, everybody, Sky, Kai, middle of exams, time has been consumed by everybody and I am very grateful. And ICSB board um, is very grateful for this. Talent, we have. This is what is the strength of ICSB. We have talent and we have people with heart and compassion and passion, right? So I am secure about the talent and the time commitment here. What we need is your treasure right? We need sponsors, right? So over here, we created a sponsor page, right? And we try to be as creative as possible and how to get as many sponsors as possible here. I want to spend a little bit of time here on the sponsors here. We've created, and I want to thank Eric for this idea right here, is, um, is um, we've created a table of all the different ways you can help support um, ICSB, right? And we can start with the simplest to the largest here. You can, you can start by just coming to ICSB and registering because that helps us financially. Okay, so just being part of it. 
you can help us by promoting it or, do, or, do, or donating your time for us. So that's all appreciated. Financial contributions are also important. You can join us as low as 2,000 up to 75,000 um, right, dollars. And in this table here, which is also downloadable here, it gives you all the different options available to you and what you will get in return. And we've given a lot in return is because we really appreciate it. I know times are tough financially, budget-wise and all that stuff. But if you see the passion and we see what we're trying to do here, I think you'll figure out a way how to get us some funding for sponsorship here. So we go from an Academy K hub all the way to a strategic partner and every one of them has a different options available and what you get from it here, right? So this is something very self-explanatory here. It's good for everybody here to, if you are a university, you get your logos with us, you get recognized. If you are doing one of the paper tracks, you know, frugal innovation, green entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship, you can say, hey, I'm gonna take the track, I mean, we're gonna take this track and we're gonna review it and we're gonna sponsor some awards in it and we're gonna make a big deal out of this track. Absolutely, this is just amazing if you take a track. Or you say, I'm gonna be a gold, listen, we are not specifically on the track, but we're gonna sponsor some gold, we're gonna do some material here, count us as a gold sponsor. Or you can say, you know what, I mean, we believe in this. This is just amazing. We wanna be partners with you hand in hand. How can we jump in? What do you need help in? And, uh, and here's some financial support, but we'll be a strategic partner, right? And here's all the information that you can get on here. We have a full document with all the details, but the info sheet here, and also you can actually sign up right here on how to do it. And we will contact you and have these conversations one-on-one -on -one to kind of figure out exactly kind of how you can participate here. So all the help is needed is, is again, fantastic. Here's how, here's how to register at the end, and here's the card here. And this is a little bit about ICSB here. So now you know what we're planning to do. Now you know where we're going here. So what I, I like to do is, um, um, Sky, I'm gonna stop sharing here, just real quick. And um, Sky, if you can add the link to the, uh, to the coupon, to the scholarship too, yep. if, you, if you have it. Now you have about an hour right? Because you've been with me here now, all 46 of you. And here um, is you can actually fill out the, 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 the scholarship form. It's, it's, it expires at noon today. So only for those 46 people um, or those that are attending here, but also on Facebook, right? You have this. If you click on it, we honor the scholarship for you for $100 and you have to until January 15 to register. Um, so I'm going to stop here and then I'm gonna see if there's any questions or comments real quick. And um, anybody has any qu questions or comments? Anybody? Or, 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 or questions? Please, in the, either in the, if in the chat will be the fastest. Do you like the website, by the way? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? I think it's a state of the art. I think just Hannah and Laura and Will just did an absolutely just marvelous job. Okay, so any, any questions, comments, anybody? Good, how, how many of you are interested in the womanpreneurship? How many of you are interested in the womanpreneurship um, event? And how many of you will, um, how many of you will be interested in submitting a paper or joining the marketplace? I'm curious. So we got Frank, the paper, wonderful Frank, or do a workshop as well. Okay, so we got, Sadie got the women thing. All right, oh, Linda's already packing her bags. All right, so some people are doing, and we'll send the paper, okay? The marketplace, okay. All right, so see, this is, this is a like the comments I like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else to say, nothing else to say. Hey, I'm in, <laughs> I'm coming, right? Okay, so, okay. So you now have, I guess, all, all the events here. If you have ideas, if you wanna engage with us, right? At any level, right? Please reach out to me. I'm gonna give you my email here as well, right? 
and we will have the team to work with you here because we will need as much support as we can. Okay, so right, if you if you if you if you if you're planning to come, say, hey, Ayman, I'm presenting a paper. I'm going to do the marketplace. Where do you use me? Where can you use me? Where can you put me in? Right? Trust me. There is a lot of work here. I might be saying to you, Kasim, or I might be saying to you, Ngozi, Ngozi, I need you to work with the academy, with the, with the, with um, you know, with Maria, uh, with the academy. Or Kasim, I say, hey, Kasim, I need you to help me with one of the wor workshop sessions with with the marketplace. Right? So that's how ICSB works. Right? This is how we we engage. Everybody kind of roll up your sleeve. And let's let's engage together. And everybody plays a leadership role. Kind of that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, and okay, that's wonderful. So that's great. That's that's great, Barani. That's that's wonderful. So let's the, please fill out the form or reach out to me, and we can talk. Now, other things that you also can think of, but this will be forthcoming in emails and stuff. I didn't want to inundate you. And um, we're going to be asking um, cities to come, right? So uh, city officials to come and to talk about their cities. We're also asking, we're gonna ask village mayors to come and talk about their vi villages, right? It's all gonna be in the marketplace. We're gonna have them all coming to speak. Everybody that comes will be able to speak, okay? So, so that's the goal here. I, I, we're gonna cast a wide net, but everything is focused. Everything, the marketplace has its focus. You know, the policy day has its focus. The workshop has its focus. And, you know, the research has its focus. The, the teaching, the education, everything has tracks, right? And you can, as I mentioned to you, you can always go in and out as you want. You know, Norris will do, and Christina will do stuff on ecosystems. You know, we're going to hopefully do sessions on family business. And we have, and they're collaborative, one wonderful, wonderful the work, a conference with us online. They might do something with us there. So. A lot of things are in there, and you know I see this. But uh, analytical insights and operational roles, right? This is a great topic, and uh, quality. That's just wonderful here. So a lot of this bring students as well. The beauty of the academy, and I, and I didn't mention this, but the beauty of the academy is what is one thing. We as professors, because I'm also a professor here. Let's say you're going to bring in six students, eight students. What usually happens is you have to be with them the whole day for the week as you're bringing these students in together, right? Because you're the lead instructor or you're the faculty of record, right? And that doesn't work because you can't just spend the whole time with them here. The beauty of the academy is there's a program already built in. So you bring them in, they plug in into the program, right? And then you plug out, you leave, right? And you check in once a day with them or you come and even watch them present, right? But you do your thing and then you come in at the end of the day and have breakfast with them or have dinner with them or have lunch with them and say, okay, what have you done? You get reports as a professor from the organizer saying, this university students did this, your students did this. This is where they are now. This is where they're gonna be. We have them on WhatsApp. We have them on all that stuff. That's what we did in Egypt, right? And Osman and Shuk Zidan and, and, and the organizers there just did a fantastic job with this, okay? So again, that's another one. Um, the one I mentioned to you here, and I keep telling you this because I see things, a lot of people sometimes saying, oh, I mean, it's never gonna happen, but it's gonna happen is the womanpreneurs. It's gonna oversubscribe. I'm thinking a hundred. This is my number. I think a hundred people will come to this, okay? My worry is this gonna be, there's gonna be a request for 200 plus, okay? So I'm telling you, this is coming fast. And when this comes fast, right? Be ready to move on it because this is gonna, gonna 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 create a lot of waves here. So I'm just letting you know, uh, be watch out for this. The marketplace, I believe, will start slow because just it's a new innovation. People are gonna be looking at it, saying, ah, "I don't know, this is difficult." They just cannot conceptualize it yet. But and it's the hockey stick. It's gonna go like this, and then it's just gonna go like this, right? So you better come in early in the ground, because when you come in early, we know who you are and there's loyalty there. The papers and research, OECD is very interested. And ESCA, IPAG, this is classic ICSB. This is who we are as ICSB. And this is gonna be our one of our strength area here. But now we're gonna mix up the journals now. Now the journals are gonna come in. Eric is gonna be there. Katya is gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Jeff is gonna be there. 
you're going to be talking to the associate editors live. So you're going to be sitting with them and saying, I have this idea in research. And the associate editor will tell you, I like it. What's your name? Give me your information, submit it, and I'll tell Eric or I'll tell Katya or I'll tell Ayman or Jeff to assign it for me because I want to work with you on it. Why not? You know, this is a new world. Okay, we are humanizing it. I know we're going to get a lot of people from Asia, Kishan Kim, right? Our, our Italian colleagues, Roberto Parente and his team, they're going to come in and, and they're going to show us the intersection of art, humanity, and science. That's classic Salerno University. Hartmut is going to come in and talk about tourism and hospitality in Germany, the systematic approach, right? So you could see, I can just tell you stories and stories here. This is passion here. But it's 11 o'clock exactly. I'm done. It was one hour. We, we had you all here for an hour. And this is going to be um, uh, recorded and it's live streamed here. So we're going to be sharing it with everybody. You have till noon today to sign up for the scholarship. You have um, time to do the uh, womanpreneurs. You have time to do the academy. And Christina, you're part of the talent and I'm going to steal all your time here. So be ready. With that, I want to thank um, Valeria. I want to thank again Hillary, Sky, Kyle, Will, Collins, Ken, Adnan, Ines, uh, Hartmut, Maria. My God, this is just just some of the people that have been working on this. So I want to thank you all for this. Um, uh, see you in Paris. I'll end it with that. Take care, everybody.